Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Beneath the Planet of the Apes, the second movie of the original franchise of the Planet of the Apes movies and I am really excited for this one. I love the first one, the classic, the instant classic with the amazing ending. I mean, what a great movie guys. I really love the new trilogy that has come out. I haven't seen the fourth one yet. It's in theaters right now, but I haven't seen it. I'll probably just wait and react to it on the channel actually because I am planning on watching every single Planet of the Apes movie on the channel. I'm not actually sure about the Tim Burton ones if I want to react to those, but at least the original five movies I will be reacting to on the channel. So look forward to that in the future. You might have to be patient between some videos or maybe like a few weeks in between each movie, but eventually they will all be up as reactions on the channel. And next up on the list, and next up on the list is Beneath the Planet of the Apes, which I'm very excited about. And if you'd like to check out more of our reactions, here's my Patreon of Uncut and Early Access Reactions to my movies and TV shows that come up to three weeks early, as well as exclusive Patreon live streams, movie polls, movie reactions, and so much more. Thank you so much for checking out. Let's get back to the video. I have no idea what any of these movies have in store for me the next I don't know four movies I have no idea what they have in store for me but people have said that it's worth the watch so I'm giving it the chance and I am going in with zero knowledge of where the story goes from after the end of the first movie so anyways let's dive into it I'm really excited so I hope you enjoy my reaction to Beneath the Planet of the Apes and yours Shunny, ah. for he is the harbinger of death Cool, this is the very end of the first one. Why, the Forbidden Zone was once a paradise. Your breed made a desert of it. Ape yeah, that's fair. Still doesn't give me the why. A planet where apes evolved from men? There's gotta be an answer. The why? Is this movie the why? What will he find out there, Doctor? The Statue His of Liberty. His destiny. Oh. <laughs> Would've been funny if he just said the Statue of Liberty. Judging by the title, I'm assuming we're going underground. That's the only thing I feel like I know about this movie. Oh! Charlton Heston is in this movie, maybe? But maybe they're only crediting him for the very start here. Still one of the coolest endings in a movie I've seen. Even though I knew the ending, it was still really cool. It looks like we still have him. You think Taylor's gonna die? Because Charlton Heston is an expensive actor, you know what I mean? I don't think this movie has the budget for him to fully be the main character. Oh. Another spaceship? Another spaceship crash? How many spaceships were up there? Three nine or five five. Three thousand nine hundred and fifty five. I'll be alive then. While well, we were following Taylor's trajectory, so whatever oh. happened to us must have happened to him. Oh, interesting. They were following him? Yes. But which son? I don't know. It's your own. Don't worry. I ever knew. Everyone. It'd be a crazy realization, you know. I don't know how anyone would cope with that. Oh. Oh, he died too? I was about to say, I don't know how someone could live with that knowledge and then all of a sudden he just died, so he obviously couldn't. He was also blind and looks very sick. It's funny to me that this movie started out in a very similar way to the first, but I guess it's the only way you can get humans onto the planet. Although there already are humans on the planet, but it's the only way to get humans from our time onto the planet. That sounds like Taylor's horse. That is not Taylor. But it is a horse. Wait. That's the girl Taylor was with. No, no, I, I don't want to hurt you. I... I just want to know where I am. Oh, those are his dog tags. Taylor's dog tags. What happened to him? Taylor. Yeah. Where is he? Dude, that was a jump scare. Taylor jump scare right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Nova. Nova. Come on. Come on, Nova. Taylor. Dude, she Taylor. 
That's gonna make it more confusing, I think. Where in hell do we go from here? Cool that we get him though for a bit in this movie. He might make it yet. I think he dies though. Just tell me what happened. Is he hurt? Is he alive? Where is he? Oh no. What the heck? Just random fire, okay? Oh my god. Maybe extreme weather on the planet or something? Oh, what? Wasn't here. A minute ago, that wasn't here. The earth is just moving? Remember? Zero. Go find Zira. Zira. She understands. Oh my god. <laughs> Green screen on point. <laughs> did he give it to you? Where did you get this? Dude, so interesting. It was like a hologram wall or something. You take me to Taylor. Taylor. She might think that your name is Taylor too. I hope she takes him to the apes. That would be funny. She did take him to the apes. Oh, I'm glad to be back here. Who's this guy? I wonder if this movie will still deal with the themes of like racism and stuff that the other movie had did. Naked merciless force! <laughs> the chimpanzees and the orangutans like what? No. It's divine faculty for being able to distinguish between evil. And God. <laughs> Seems like we still have some of that conversation. It's a bloody nightmare. Ah, oh, she's back. They're both back. The privilege of being used by our revered minister of science, the good Dr. Zayas. I'm glad Zayas is back too. He was a fun, like, villain type character. Now we must replenish the lands that were ravaged by the humans with no improved feeding grounds. Oh, he just knows about that now. And obtain in the once forbidden zone. I thought that was a secret. This feels like more like a conquest, you know what I mean? Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. I know that's a movie. Did you stand? Only for my principles. All right, for your principles and mine, only please stand. I like that she's protesting. Did you not hear the speech? He probably heard it, right? The guy said humans ravaged. Humans. Is that not obvious that you're on Earth already? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Good job for not screaming. It vanished into thin air. It left. Huh? <laughs> Very well, eleven. How hot would it be in that outfit? Huge walls of fire. Strange, violent earthquakes. His, his mind gone. Yeah, that actually happened. The healthy heads of humans. I should be dissecting the diseased brains of gorillas to find out what went wrong. <laughs> right. Oh. Witness their babies on the milk of chimpanzees. Here we go, another human right here for you. Do you like chocolate? Oh, what then? Oh, no, 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 of course you don't. But I do. He doesn't like chocolate? Gorillas are cruel because they're stupid. All bone and no brain. Here, my dear, I wish. <laughs> That's funny. Nova! What are you doing here? Another one. No, not, not Taylor. My name's Brent. That's impossible. Only Taylor can talk. Uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yes. Oh, is he alive? Have you seen him? Uh, where? Where? Uh, tell us. Where? Where? I, I... He's like, can you fix my arm first? I don't plan to stay around here quite that long. Look, can, can you get me some food, some some water, um, a map, a map, so at least I'll have some. But his arm has been shot, and he's acting like it hasn't been shot. Who told you that? Hmm. <laughs> Your glorious leader back there. 
Yeah, he did. He, he listened to it. But then he heard humans. And why is he not suspecting Earth at this point? Cornelius, open the door. Put the things away. Open it. Cornelius runs so funny. It is no longer possible. As Minister of Science, it is my duty to find out whether some other form of life exists. Where are you going? Okay, so you're going to agree with him? Another manhunt, Doctor? Someone or something has outwitted the intelligence of the gorillas. That shouldn't... Yeah, <laughs> that's not that hard to do. I am asking for a truce with your personal convictions in an hour of public danger. And you shall have it, Dr. Zayas. Cornelius is such a pushover. I'd better get you another set of clothes. The kind fit for humans, like yourself. You'll pass. Delicate clothes. If you are caught by the gorillas, you must remember one thing. What's that? Never to speak. Yeah. And speak. Not her and not you. If they catch you speaking, they will dissect you and they will kill you. Yeah, they will. Thanks. Thank us by finding Taylor. Yeah, if he's still alive. Yeah, please find Taylor. I think Taylor went beneath. Okay, come on, you're supposed to love Taylor. Stop looking at him. I guess they must live in a pretty warm climate for them to be wearing almost no clothes all the time. Oh my days. Oh my days, the poor horse. Oh my days, the gorillas are here. Nova, why'd you fall? I hope the gorillas trip on a root or something. Oh my god. <laughs> They're all curious. Oh, an army train. oh, the poor horse again. God, it's actually just a military conquest of the Forbidden Zone and whoever may live there. That guy just tried to whip the human while there were also a hundred gorillas around. I think he hit some gorillas as well. Extraordinary clinical interest. Um, bring them inside. No. No, you can't have them. Why? They are marked for target practice. What? Just spare two. I'll take the key. To the target range! Wait! Wait! I'd better double lock the door. Double lock the door. Good luck. Alright! <laughs> double lock the door? Are you serious? The guy's like, just don't two locks on the door. Oh my god, silent choke the guy. Oh, it didn't really work, did it? <laughs> oh! Come on, Nova, help him. Come on, Nova. Whoa, that's actually impressive. They can each have their own horse now. That's pretty epic. Cool. And they're riding off into the sunset. Movie over. Oh, come on. That's actually really cool looking. How are you going to escape these guys? Oh, no. Dead end. Unless that's a hologram cliff as well. Oh, he might be going beneath him now. There might be a cave that he goes down. He's like, no, nah, not down there. I'm, I just can't do that, it's too scary. Wait, that is a nice wall. Subway station?
telephone. It is an old telephone. This might be like an old subway station or something. Ah! I was right, look at that! I was right. An old poster? New York! Ha! Ah, we're in New York. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The Statue of Liberty is here, I guess. But maybe New York has just gotten a lot warmer because of all the bombing and stuff that the humans did. Did we finally really do it? Yeah, I think you did. And its supreme commander on the eve of a holy war. Oh my undertaken god. Undertaken for you. A holy war. More perfectly to that spiritual godliness and bodily beauty which you. And he's like, yeah, I am beautiful. Love, yes, war, no! No more lies! No more. Cr oh my god, a little protest. We want freedom! We, we want don't want peace. martyrs, do we? we want I just do it quietly. Do it quietly. I like that there's still a commentary on real world stuff in this movie. I was worried that there wouldn't be, but there is. So I like that. Oh my god, the flags are pink. That's awesome. I swear they're the weakest bullets in the world. His arm has not hurt, and it's basically scarred over. Like, he has not been hurting from that gunshot at all. Before we learn to talk, we made a mess of everything. Yeah. The devolved human. Come from all that talk around all those tables. Technically, I guess they'd actually be an evolved human because they're what humans became. So technically, even though they can't speak, they're evolved. You know what I think? We're near the forbidden zone, that's what I think. Because the Sarge says to keep looking until... No. I like that they're sitting next to this giant cave, but they don't want to explore the giant cave. Oh, it's getting louder. Well, whoever, or whatever, something's guiding us. Whatever they are, they breathe air. That's really cool. It's like a portal or something. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool! <laughs> That's really cool. Either a warning or some kind of directional device. I don't know which. It doesn't much matter. They know we're here. I love that the hum stops. Nova, go up. Nova, go up. It's so bright in here. And these don't look like subway tunnels, you know what I mean? Wow. Wow, that's underground. It's also cool that all of this is just underground now as well. Like, I think that's so awesome. Those are some nice doors, guys. Those are some nice doors. Let's go in. What I'm expecting are humans to be living under the earth. Probably some bad water. Probably get rabies from that water or something. Like that Nova's just sticking her head under it as well. She's getting the full treatment. Put my what? Hands. Are you doing? Hold her throat. What are you doing? <laughs> Brent man, what are you doing? What's happening to his head? Oh. What? 
That's really cool. That's like a rocket ship. Or a missile. One of the two. Ah, it's a human. It's a human. Oh, maybe not physically, but here. Here, you can hurt here, I know. Are they telepaths? Your lips don't move. Oh my god, they can speak using telepathy. I, I know what you're thinking. What? They could use telepathy? What is this plot twist? Brent. Cool. Who are you? I like the sound design there. I was sent here on a rescue mission. To find a fellow astronaut. Taylor. Ah, oh, there he is. A slippage in time. That's what must have happened to Taylor. I'm sure he tried to get... We Nova? What's that? What's that? Some star? A galaxy? What's Nova? Oh my god. Is he torturing him now? I really like that we don't hear them speak. I like that. She helped me. To break out of Ape City. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute! There's too much, there's too much! Screaming at me at the same time, I can't- He has only limited intelligence, we should speak aloud. Oh my god, yes, please speak aloud. I loved how the movie did that, though. Talk, it's a rather primitive accomplishment. We use it when we must. When we pray. When we sing to our god. They still believe in religion and stuff. Your god? You don't understand, Mr. Brent. The bomb is a holy weapon of peace. Everything's a holy weapon now, or a holy war. Holy weapon of peace. Oh my god, stop torturing him, dude. We're a patient people, but we are determined to know what the apes want. War or peace? War. Traumatic hypnosis is a weapon of peace. Like the visual deterrent. Oh, so interesting. That hurts my ears, actually. That actually hurts my ears. These are weapons of peace, Mr. Brent. Like all our weapons. Mere illusions. So they're weapons that do no actual harm. It's operational, isn't it? The firing mechanism. It's intact, isn't it? They have an operational nuke. And yet, as you see, we are defenseless. Defenseless against the slobbering, monstrous, materialistic apes. Oh my god, they both hate each other. We've caught some of their scouts. They're hideous creatures. And we've had them here, standing precisely where you are now. You guys made them in the first place. What? Don't. Don't do it, Brent. Oh my god. Seems like humans are still more cruel than the apes, I have to say. No. Tell us of the apes. Yes. Together strong. I kind of want the humans to get destroyed, I'll be honest with you. They're kind of mean, they're kind of cruel. I know they just were trying to get information, but come on. Torture? Already? Now, this is actually pretty exciting though. I wonder if we're going to get a big battle at the end of this one, or there's going to be no battle. Oh my god. This must all be illusion though, still. Wait, brutal butchery. I swear those responsible shall pay with torture and with death. <laughs> we'll push on through the fire. Ape shall not kill ape. <laughs> Oh my god, the giant statue? Oh! Oh my god, their god is bleeding from the eyes. This is a vision! And it is a lie! Dude, Zeus is brave just charging into the fire like that. Wow, look at that. It was a vision. I mean, it was the illusion that the humans made, but it was a vision. You go. On the advance. Someone get me a new pair of underwear. <laughs> Stupid animals. They don't have the brain to hold our illusions. 
Oh, stop calling them stupid, man. That is awesome. There's still a pretty decent budget in this movie. I have to say, the nuclear bomb, the glory of the bomb is the most beautiful bomb I've ever seen. It is heard among them. Praise him! Praise him! My strength and my redeemer! It's crazy that they're worshipping a bomb! They're gonna launch the bomb! Glory be to the bomb and to the holy fallout as it was in- What are those Greek symbols? Omega? And what's the A? I am most self unto my god. Unto my god. Unto my god! <laughs> I love the choir. What? The... What? The... <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. <laughs> What? What is going on? How would anyone expect that? Why were they wearing masks in the first place? <laughs> no, I don't believe it. First we have telepathy, and now we have this. We have Drax as humans. They look like inverted testicles. May the blessing of the bomb almighty and the fellowship of the holy fallout descend on us all this day and forevermore. The holy fallout. You know too many of our secrets. Like your friend. Oh, is Taylor going to be here? Oh, <gasps> Taylor! Dude, it's actually cool that he's here. Spaceship, Ape City, Subway. By yourself? No, no, Nova found me. No, is she with you? Where? I don't know. I don't know where she is. They separated us. They were trying. He's tall. We're a peaceful people. Are you? We don't kill our enemies. We get our enemies to kill each other. That's the same thing, though, is it not? You're still making them kill. <laughs> oh. They're gonna fight each other? <laughs> this feels pretty savage to me, I can't say. Who are these people? I think these people devolve. Well done. <laughs> Taylor's got some good kicks. He's got reach. Oh, oh. Oh my God, that was a kick. What? See, this is barbaric. Valid. Go Nova. She can be telepathy. Oh my god, she said something. She said something. Yes, punch him. Yes, keep punching him. Oh my god, yeah, just spear him like that. Oh. I'm actually glad this guy's dude. This guy was Satan. As a human. Wait, he was facing the other way though, so he died and then turned around, stabbed himself, and then died again. <laughs> Atomic bomb. It's operational. They intend to use it. That's a nuts. Just some letters on on one one of the fins. Greek letters. Alpha Omega? Alpha and Omega. I was right. You fools. They don't know what they've got. I mean, they, they pray to the damn thing. It's a bomb that can destroy the world, huh? I think it's worth exploring. I still can't get over that his flags are pink. I don't know why that's just so funny to me, but it is. If, if his only purpose in life is to protect the bomb and they launch the bomb, he has no more purpose in life. Then he can just go. Oh, but they're just exterminating the humans. There's no good side here. Only the chimpanzees are the good side, and these three humans. Oh my god. No. 
Nova, you better not be dead. Nova, you better not be dead. Oh, God. My God, why did you guys let her... Why did you let them gorilla walk up to her like that? Come on, come on. The bomb. Yeah. She was my only bomb. <laughs> or she was my bombshell. He could have said that. She kill herself? Oh my god, they're actually breaking down the door. Don't launch it, man. You got it, eh? Roger. Oh my god. <laughs> my god is bullets. <laughs> that guy's so happy, look at him jump around. <laughs> we can't shoot it down, we'll pull it down. Rope, rock and tackle. Watch them just set off the nuclear bomb in this room. Don't press that. Whatever anyone does, don't press that. I'll find a way to stop it. Don't press it! I actually thought he was gonna press it and the movie was gonna end with everyone's destruction. No! What? Yes, I'm glad this guy died. Taylor is dead too, are you serious? Yeah, end the world, end the world at this point. Help me! You asked me to help you! Man is evil, capable of nothing! Oh my god, you stubborn orangutan. Okay, now the world's actually gonna end. I actually think the world's about to blow up. Bloody Oh, he's ending the world! He's ending the world! And one of its satellites, a green and insignificant planet, is now dead. <laughs> the world ended. The world ended. Guys, the world ended. <laughs> the world ended. What the heck is this movie? What? Dude, the last 30 minutes were nuts. The first hour of this movie was basically very similar to the first movie. Then they go underground and the movie is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. It is almonds. It is peanuts. It is nuts. You know, it is every type of nut you could think of. And then the world ends. I, I mean, the last movie ended on a pretty downer note for the most part. The twist is cool, but man, this twist is well the world ends. So what are the other movies? Are they prequels then? Because... Everyone's dead. And that was my reaction to Beneath the Planet of the Apes, the 1970 sci-fi adventure and sequel to Planet of the Apes, starring Linda Harrison as Nova, James Franciscus, kind of a cool last name there, as Brent, Kim Hunter as Dr. Zira, Natalie Trundy as Albina, I don't remember. Oh, Albina is one of the humans, I think. Maurice Evans as Dr. Zayas, James Gregory as General Ursus, and of course, Charleston, Charlton, Charlton Heston as Taylor. And guys, I have to say, I really enjoy that movie. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting going into this movie, and I don't know what I'm expecting going into the sequels of this movie either, especially because of the ending. But I was not expecting a movie to be this enjoyable. I was not expecting the sequels. I've always thought that the sequels to the original Planet of the Apes were kind of really bad, kind of B-movie quality films. But first of all, the budget of this movie still felt very, very good. It still felt maybe not as big as the first one, but there were a lot of moments where I was like, oh, that's a very beautiful shot oh that's a really cool set you know what I mean so it was definitely not a B movie at all in terms of visuals and stuff like that the only visuals that didn't really age well were the green screen stuff the illusion stuff some of the illusions look really cool but then the flames on the front of the film screen whatever it just that one looked a little dated but like some of the sets the backgrounds and stuff they all looked fantastic but the thing that really blew me about this movie were the twists and you know some people might be like what the heck like what are these twists what that doesn't even make any sense like some of it is not even explained like the the fact that the humans look like look like that isn't really explained i can kind of assume that it's because of the fallout 
um, just the radiation fallout made humans look like that. But then why do they want to wear these masks and look like humans on the surface now? Like, is it just because they want to look like what their old selves would look like? But also the fallout would have happened so long ago now where humans would maybe for have forgotten what they originally would have looked like and so it you know there's some inconsistencies with that and you know the first half of this movie is basically just the same movie as the first one until they go underground like obviously there are some differences where brent meets dr zero way earlier you know we have the gorilla uprising with general ursus we have that holy war stuff going on like there are differences the protest but for the most part if you go beat for beat it's like Brent lands on the planet, just like Taylor lands on the planet. Then he discovers the ape village. Unlike Brent, he discovers the ape village. Unlike Taylor, I should say, he discovers the ape village with the help of Nova, but he still discovers the ape village. Then he discovers the apes can talk and he's all surprised about that. Then he gets captured by the apes. Then he escapes from the apes. You know, it's just like the same movie again at the start just with a few different beats in between the main plot beats of of that sequence for the first hour and so i was like i was enjoying it i was enjoying it for the first hour but i was like you know it just feels like i'm watching i would just rather watch the first movie if the movie's going to be like this you know what i mean and then the last 30 minutes happened they go underground and first of all telepathy like who would have expected telepathy who would have expected telepathy who would have expected the humans now to be telepathic and i was wondering maybe nova and those other humans are telepathic as well but thinking back i mean they're not obviously because i think the movie makes that pretty clear that they're not but also thinking back on it just the actions of those humans on the surface it just doesn't really seem like they're communicating with each other i really liked the sound design for the telepathic moments when they're talking to brent using telepathy i really liked the sound design and how there was like these high-pitched hums and they were different tones for each person and so when someone was talking to brent using telepathy there was like the or the or the and i don't know i just really enjoyed it it made this for a really interesting stylistic choice and i really enjoyed that you also didn't hear them talking to brent in his head i think that would have kind of cheapened the movie a little bit i'm not a huge fan of voiceover in general and there would have been a lot of voiceover in that moment and sure it could have sounded really cool with all of these voices talking at the same time with this echoey sound effect put on top of them but i think it was even cooler to not hear what they were saying and just hear brent respond use the sounds as an indication of who is speaking and then when they're all like yelling at him at the end having all those quick cuts between them with all the sounds melange together mixed together was just a really cool way to do it and i thought it was really creative and it did stress me out a lot as well i also think that the humans under the ground were definitely not good people i guess they were not i don't know evolved people it's weird how they were talking about how they're a peaceful people and how you know they don't use weapons to hurt people they make other people hurt people but isn't that just basically the same thing aren't you just using another type of weapon like this mind manipulation to make people hurt people so in a way you are still hurting people you know what i mean you want to destroy the world with this bomb that you have you hate on these other apes you make these two other humans kill each other in a cell for basically entertainment purposes you torture brent you make him kill nova who is completely in innocent you know what i mean like and i know that they might have some spy and suspicions about brent and nova in those situations but come on you cannot say you're a peaceful people so there was a point in the movie where i was really rooting for the apes but then when the gorillas started killing the humans for no reason i was like oh i think both of these people are bad and you know the only person that i i mean maybe the only two people that i care would be living after this would be dr zira and cornelius those two chimpanzees and they were alive they obviously died at the end of the movie but nova died brent died taylor died that is insane all three of our main cast members died and when brent got shot and taylor got shot i was like yeah the movie's gonna end with the bomb and it did and the only people i feel bad about dying now are dr zira and cornelius everyone else because brent and taylor and nova died i was like i don't care about anyone else they're all kind of horrible they can all just go and the world the world is clean now. it has been cleansed of all life which is nuts but anyways the next twist after the telepathy were that the humans did not have their faces they were actually like look drax looking veiny looking salamander looking 
axolotl looking things. I really liked the look. I thought the makeup was really, really cool. And again, I think it was due to the fallout and stuff, but a little confused about why they decided to wear the masks of real people. I feel like, again, generationally, it would have been so far removed from the actual war and the fallout of everything that they would just be okay looking like themselves, looking like their true selves, if you want to talk about how they were talking about themselves in the movie. And then the last, the last stuff, obviously, being the fact that people died. Nova just gets shot. He, they, they just let the gorilla walk up to Nova and shoot her. I swear the gorilla's in frame for like a minute. You know, maybe not actually a minute. That's an exaggeration. But he's in frame for like 10 seconds and he's walking up the stairs with the gun and they're just standing there. And then he shoots Nova and then they attack the, shoo, attack the gorilla before, before he kills Nova. But Nova dies and then Taylor just gets shot out of, like just randomly. And then all of a sudden Brent just gets shot in the head and he dies. And then Taylor destroys the world and that's the last twist is... Taylor destroys the world and the movie ends with the destruction of the planet. Every single life form on the planet is gone because of humans and apes not being able to get along with each other because of this racism, because of just everything, everything. And the movie surprised me with that. I wasn't expecting the movie to end like that, but now I'm going to be expecting all of the rest of the movies to end in like a kind of tragic or sad way. And I'm also confused about the sequels. I'm also confused about the sequels because this movie was a felt like and was, and I'm glad that Charlton Heston was in this movie. I was surprised he was in it for as much as he was, to be honest with you. I thought he was only going to be in it at the start and then die at the very start or something. But good for him for staying in this movie, for staying in the sequel, which many people probably would have thought wouldn't have been very good, which I actually really enjoyed. But I'm confused about the sequels in terms of how are they going to continue the story. I mean, the world has ended. I don't think there's going to be a movie after this. I think Beneath the Planet of the Apes is the final movie if you look at timeline wise. But the next three movies then, I'm assuming are going to be prequels of some sort. Um, which is going to be very interesting to, to see because I just don't see another movie being made after Beneath the Planet of the Apes in terms of timeline wise after the events of this one because everyone is dead. Like everyone is dead at this point. So yeah, that was interesting. Besides that though, I just really enjoyed this movie. Like I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. The craziness in the last 30 minutes really helped to elevate the movie for me. Um, I thought it was just okay before those last 30 minutes and then everything happening that was just so surprising surprising nothing I could not I could not predict where the movie was gonna go those last 30 minutes and it was a really fun ride don't know how rewatchable the movie is I would have to rewatch it to find out because I think the twists themselves and the surprise of them and the craziness of them was one of the reasons why I enjoyed it so much so watching it a second time knowing what's going to happen I don't know if, if the movie would hit as hard but as a first time watch of this movie it was really, really fun. Anyways, that is going to be the end of my reaction and review to Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. And yeah, I will be watching the other three movies in this series. I forget what they're called at the moment. I think the next one is called Escape of the Planet of the Apes. I'm not sure. I think that's the next one. So keep an eye out for that one. It might not be coming out for a few weeks just because I'm going on vacation and won't be recording videos for a while. But keep an eye out for that one if you're excited. And I hope you enjoyed the reaction to this one. And I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.